What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Attempt two because my audio messed up. Uh, but now we're going to check out Zer's loot and location for the 11th of May 2018. The first time Zer has arrived since the Warmind DLC. He's located on Nessus and he's located right here within the Watcher's Grave. Okay, so what has he got this week? Well, I already know, but do you know? Now you will. Okay, so we have for the Hunter, the Knucklehead Radar. Upgraded Center Pack. Provides radar while aiming. This will cost you 23 Legendary Shards and will drop at 345 Defense, which is not bad at all. Weapon of the Week, we have the Prometheus Lens. Prismatic Inferno. Fires a solar trace beam that generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. This will cost you 29 Legendary Shards and requires the Curse of Osiris DLC. Warlocks, we have a new chess piece for you guys, the Vespa of Radius. A planetary torrent, Rift release an arc shockwave when cast. Rift energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies, and this will cost you 23 legendary shards. Titans, we have the Ashen Wake Gauntlets, another new exotic to the Warmind DLC. Bring the heat, fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Not bad, 23 legendary shards, this will cost you. We also have people, the Five of Swords, a challenge card for the Nightfall, enables modifiers in Nightfall Strikes on Prestige Difficulty. More challenging modifiers apply larger school multipliers. So yes, people, they have spoke about these numerous times via their weekly update. So yep, yeah, it's a thing you can buy now from there every single week. We also have the Three of Coins, costing 31 legendary shards, which in my opinion, do not work. We also have people, the Fated Engram, you can purchase one of these per week. I brought mine on my last recording, but because it messed up, yeah, it failed, so I had to do it again. But the exotic I got was the new Hunter chess piece called the Fidia Spafe, I believe that's how it's pronounced, and it's pretty damn badass. Okay, so the intrinsic perk is Scissor Fingers, grants two knives per charge. So I can run around people, throwing, I think this is throwing knives, I believe this is throwing knives, but I'm not certain. Actually, let's, let's try it out. I think we can try it out right here. Let's pull it on. Let's pull it on. So one, let it charge, let it charge and I'll cut the video when I get back to you. Okay, so it's about to charge, so will we get two throw knives? Yes we do indeed, that's pretty badass. So can I can hit him, let's see, there's one, no he moved, he moved, there's two, go on, go on, go on. No, way too far, but yes, actually that's not bad. For people who like running around, throwing throw knives, well now with this chest piece you get two of them. But I think I'm going to stick to my helmet, I'm not going to lie. My helmet is where it's at, people. Helmet's just incredible. But yes, guys, tell me what you get down below from that fated engram. Let me know what new exotic you guys got. A great week for the Warlock and Titans, getting a new exotic for the Hunters. Same old knucklehead radar. And on that note, guys, I am out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, the audio is all right in this one. And I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.